Hi, this is Mohammed Shakil here and today I'm going to show you some of the basics of drafting workbench in KTRV5. So after creating the parts and assembling them, you need to generate their drawing views. A 2D drawing is a lifeline of all the manufacturing systems because on the shop floor or tool room, a machinist mostly needs the 2D drawings for manufacturing. So let me show you where you can find the drafting workbench. So you have two ways of invoking the drafting workbench. One is uh, go to the start, mechanical design, and then you have this drafting right over here. Or else you can go to the file, new, and you can select the drawing over here. So uh, let me just uh, talk few things about the uh, drafting workbench. So the KTRV5 provides this drafting workbench which is a specialized environment for generating the 2D drawing views. This workbench provides all tools required to generate drawing views, modify and apply dimensions and orientating them. In other words, you can get the final shop floors drawing using the workbenches of KTRV5. So there are two types of uh, doing the drafting. One is the generative drafting and one is an interactive one. So generative drafting is a technique of generating the drawing views using a solid model or an assembly model. So basically you're going to open up one of the files which you have uh, done with the, uh, 2D, uh, the 3D drawings, some other drawing and then select the drafting workbench and draft with that or else the interactive drafting in which it is a technique where the sketcher tools are used to do the 2D drawing views. So uh, right now in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can uh, come up to the uh, drafting workbench and uh, start off working and few standards. So. Uh, as I said, there are two methods, so use any of these methods to open up the drafting workbench. So once you're done with that, click the drawing, click OK, and you have this new drawing dialog box coming up over here. So basically, what does this uh, new drawing uh, indicate or what, what is this used for? So we have, uh, we have to set the standards and the sheet styles before working with the drafting workbench. So what does the standard indicate? The options in standard drop down list are used to define the dimensioning standards that you need to select. By default the ISO will be selected or else you can select the other uh, you know, options like JIS, AS, MA3D, SME, NSI, etc. and so on from the list. So once you're done with selecting, in this case I'm going to select the ISO and I'm going to set the, sh set the sheet standard. So in the sheet standard drop down list, well, you know which changes with the change in the drawing standards. So whatever standard you set in the drawing standard, according to that the sheet style standard are going to change. So say I'm going to select the JIS and uh, all the sheet styles are being changed according to the JIS standard. So that's about the selection of the sheet style. So once you're done with that, you can also modify the default orientation of the sheet style using the two radio buttons over here. One is portrait and one is landscape. By default, the portrait, uh, I mean, uh, the landscape radio button will be selected. As a result, the resulting sheet will be in the landscape orientation. So if you select the portrait radio button, the resulting sheet will be in the portrait orientation. So once you are done with selecting the uh, all the standard sheet style and uh, the portrait on the landscape, you can click on OK. And uh, it's going to take a little bit of time, so be patient. And you have this uh, drafter, drafting workbench being open. So thank you for watching. I hope you got a little bit idea about the drafting workbench. Keep watching to learn more about drafting workbench and start off working with drafting. So this is Mohammed Shakil here signing off. Thank you for watching.